Hey friends, it's me, Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist with today's Schumann Resonance Report for Tuesday, June the 25th, I think. Oh my gosh, it is the 25th, like all whole day. Hope you guys are recovering from that timeline jump and noticing little changes in your timeline. It's so exciting. This morning, starting at about 5.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, we are in the middle of getting a massive blast of energy about the same size as this one here, if not larger. This energy is straight into the crown and all chakras are available, but it's really concentrating in the crown, really sending a lot of inspiration and movement forward energy. What I actually heard in meditation was, okay, you timeline jumped, now what? What are you gonna do with it, friends? I will tell you this energy is making me just a tiny bit nauseous. It's very, very high vibrational. So as it comes in, physical symptoms may be things like feeling anxious or nauseous. You may have a lot of ringing in your ears. You may have some pressure in your head. This is very, very, very concentrated in the crown, although it is available to all chakras. And what that means is that the, the energy as information is coming to the crown first and then distributing throughout your system after everything you need in the crown has been left there, kind of like that. Today, especially if you're having a bunch of ideas or if you're, you've got a lot coming up, it's a great day to journal about those things, write them down so you don't forget them later. And with this big push of crown energy in combination with that timeline jump, this is bringing a lot to the surface for healing also. But the stuff that's coming to the surface for healing will not be anything new. This is all things you've already worked on and it's just encouraging you to finally let it go so that you can actually move forward. Really hard to go forward when you're constantly looking backwards. That's all I got to say. And the other thing I heard in meditation is be careful of your motivations. You wanna work from inside inspiration, not outside motivation. Are you doing something to prove someone else wrong? Or are you doing something to prove yourself right? Those are two different things. And most likely, if you're doing something to prove someone wrong, I could almost guarantee you they don't care. They're not paying attention and you are wasting your energy trying to prove a point to someone who just doesn't care. They've moved on. So instead of working to prove someone wrong, always, always work from inspiration to prove yourself right. This is giving your power back to you. When you work to prove someone else wrong, you are giving your power away to that person. Your joy, your excitement, your satisfaction is all based on that person and their ability to see you where you are. So don't do that to yourself. Do it to prove yourself right. Yeah. I mean, not to mention, you're like way cooler than they are anyway, so. <laughs> All right, and here's our cards for today. Now, I tried the True Mirror filter and it's not working today, so we gotta do it the other way. Our first card for today is the crown chakra. This is confirmation that all this big energy we're receiving right now is coming in mainly to the crown. Although it can distribute to other chakras, it's here to really boost your journey on the spiritual path. Really help you to start moving in the direction you want to go by bringing you inspiration and excitement about those things. There is also a ton of potential in your energy, but it's up to you to take advantage of this. What seeds are you planting in that fertile field that you found? How are you going to go about creating your reality? Well, one way is by listening to the mental clarity you receive through things like meditation and creative expression. But remember that meditation could be anything that works for you. It doesn't have to be the same as what everybody else does. You want to find a practice that works for you. This brings in mental clarity and helps you take advantage of the energy we are receiving today, especially. The mental clarity you are being sent is here to help you find your ambition. That page of pentacles is saying, what is it that you want out of this life? Are you working to prove someone else wrong? Are you working to prove yourself right? Find the ambition that leads you forward that helps you feel good about where you're going and not to prove someone else or make a point. And remember that the only way to change is to change. Your fear of change has got to go. This death card comes forward to say the only way forward is to let the old version of you die away and the new ver version come forward. But you cannot be afraid of change. If everything stays the same, it stays the same. So once you find your ambition, be ready for that change to come forward because that's what catapults you on your spiritual growth. That's what's sending you down that path that you've been looking for for a long time. And once you find that path and start walking down there and truly, truly follow it to your greatest advantage, doing what feels good for you, it leads to a feeling of victory in the space. This card is all about, I did it. This is self-accomplishment. This is satisfaction. This is excitement about where you are. I did it. Nobody did it for me. I did it myself. Take your power back, friends. Today is your day. And you know how much I love to bring you the sunshine every morning, but I am on the porch today because it is thunderstorming out by me here. I do love a good thunderstorm. It's so cleansing. I love it. But even with this thunderstorm, you can go forward into your day and really remind yourself of all the wonderful things around you. The flowers it's feeding, the birds that are getting nourished, the 
all the wonderful things that are happening. The lake that you like to swim in is getting a refill. I mean, it's a great day. It's a great day. Storms are so cleansing and so wonderful. Mother Earth taking care of herself. So as you walk out into your day, even if it's raining, you want to stop, take a minute, and just remind yourself that today, today, today's a great day, friends. It's a great day. It's a great day.